public affairs schools in the country, taking first place in the state of Texas. It's a pretty intense program. It's typically two years, but we do have a lot of dual degree students that do a three-year program. Uh, we do a mix of things that um, the major programs are Masters in Public Affairs and the Global Policy Studies. That's Shelby Evans, a second year Masters in Public Affairs student and co-chair for the LBJ School's annual entertainment extravaganza taking place this April, also known as the Follies. I like to say that it's a mix of SNL meets Comedy Central Roast meets uh, awkward improv class, but with a bunch of people that are really excited about policy. Um, so it's just a really fun affair. We'll do a mix of skits, recorded videos, um, sometimes competitions. And it's basically a night of fun and absurdity, which I really am on board with. Some people might just be like, it's just to have a fun event. But I think that um, because the work we do is so serious in a policy school, I think it's important to have elements of creativity and fun and community engagement. So I think it's one of those cool things that our school does that you wouldn't expect a bunch of policy students to do. That's just to create community. Like Shelby Evans, Assault and Flattery Director Elena Thompson also agrees that one of the most valuable aspects are the close-knit communities they enable to exist. I never